don't be embarrassed. It may sound silly, but sometimes it genuinely can be hard to tell whether your VPN is working or not. Sometimes all the signs are there and the software is happy, but once you actually dig into it, something's going wrong. And the simple, friendly interface can be deceptive. VPNs are fairly complex, which means there's a lot of different ways in which they can fail. Which is why, in this video, we're going to show you all the different ways you can check your VPN is working and what to look out for. I'm talking IP leaks, DNS and WebRTC leaks, and proper encryption. In the process, we'll also take a look at the tools that Top 10 VPN's very own team of testing experts use when performing these checks themselves so that you can do the same. Representing that testing team, I'm Callum. Let's get started. Let's clarify what it is that we're actually expecting to see here just before we get into the technical stuff. On a fundamental level, when you connect a VPN to a server, you're expecting your IP address to change, your traffic to be encrypted, and any extra setting you've activated to work appropriately. This is what we mean when we talk about a VPN working properly, and any of those things failing or not working properly is generally pretty serious. With that out of the way, let's start at the top. Number one, has your IP address changed? The simplest function of a VPN and the simplest test. To begin, go to the top 10 VPN IP checker tool without your VPN connected. Once loaded, you'll see your real IP address and something approximate to your real location. Now, connect your VPN, ideally to a server in a different country, just to make this test easier. With it connected, refresh the IP checker page. You should see a new IP address and a new region. If you have an IPv6 address, this test can be a little trickier, and it's still surprisingly common for VPNs to leak it. Many don't handle IPv6 properly, or even support it at all. Make sure that both your IP addresses are different. If your IP address and location have changed, then the VPN's working. Number two, check for DNS and WebRTC leaks. If your DNS leaks, it means that your ISP and whoever owns the network connection you're on can see the websites you visit, and that those websites can also see you. A WebRTC leak is basically an IP leak, but one that occurs when your VPN doesn't handle peer-to-peer -peer communications properly, like when you use voice or video chat online. These are extra tricky because there's no real way you would notice them unless you're specifically testing for them. Fortunately, we have just a tool for the situation, the Top 10 VPN Leak Test, which will also check to see if your IP address is leaking. The tool spells it all out as clearly as possible, but let's walk through a demonstration together right now just to see how quick and straightforward it really is. On the tool page, Begin the test without your VPN connected. Then either allow it to know your location or choose one from a list. This is purely to see whether or not your reported geolocation lines up with your VPN location. We don't do anything at all with the data. Now connect to a VPN server in a different country to your own and continue the test. Give it a second and you'll see your results. Hopefully all green with no leaks. However, if anything has leaked, you'll be told how and why. Just as a warning, if you've manually set your DNS service to public ones like Google or Cloudflare, then it will flag that as a potential leak, but will also explain that you can ignore it if you want. Number three, check your traffic is encrypted. Now we're getting to the good stuff. I promise you won't see this on the other VPN channels. If you performed all the other steps we've discussed and they've come back clean, then believe it or not, there's still a chance that your VPN isn't working properly. It may be masking your location and changing your IP address, but can you say for sure that it's encrypting your traffic? Ordinarily, no, but with this test, yes. To perform it, we're going to use a tool called Wireshark. This one isn't made by Top 10 VPN, but it is open source and free to use and comes not just with our seal of approval, but that of basically the entire communications industry. With Wireshark downloaded and running on either your Mac, Windows, or Linux computer, here's how we use it. First, we need to choose the correct network interface. This is just the connection that your device is using for the internet. If the names look confusing to you, then this will basically be the one with the most active line graph, usually called Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Click the blue thin icon in the top left to start capturing packets. Let it run for about two minutes to capture enough data, then click the red square to stop it. Now, among this mess of colorful roads of information, look for entries that match your VPN's protocol, most likely OpenVPN or WireGuard, depending on what you're using. Right-click on the entry, select Follow, click your protocol stream, and check it for data leaks. If the whole stream is scrambled and incoherent, your VPN's encryption is working. But if part or all of your browsing activity is legible, your VPN connection isn't encrypted. I know Wireshark looks super intimidating, but honestly, once you get used to it, it's not so bad. And you really can tell if your VPN is properly encrypting your traffic with just a glance. You don't need to worry about anything else it's showing you. Those are the fundamentals wrapped up. If your VPN has passed those four stages without issue, then your VPN is working, confirmed and verified with your own eyes and testing. 
It's pretty cool, it feels good, right? If at any point in these tests your VPN has failed, then there's a huge number of solutions that you might need to try and tons of different scenarios for how it might have failed. Way too many for just this one video, so I'll link to all the most helpful and relevant resources in the description. If you found any of our tools helpful, then if you'd consider dropping the video a like or subscribing to the channel, that would be a huge help for us and also a great signal to YouTube to show it to as many intelligent VPN users as possible. Let me know how you got on in the comments. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.